Hey everybody, this is Reiko from Reiko Hearts You. I am so excited that you guys came across my video today. I am obviously in my jammies and I'm sitting here on my bed because in just a few minutes I will be getting ready to uh, sit down with a really good book and fall asleep because that's usually how I fall asleep. And if you guys can't already tell, um, I don't know how good of the quality this camera is, but anyway, I can already see from removing my glasses that I still have my circles under my eyes. And if you guys can tell, I have little pimples here and there because um, I'm dealing with some hormonal acne at the moment. Sorry for sharing. But I figured that since I'm not wearing any makeup um, and whatnot, that it would be a perfect time for me to talk about something that's been on my heart and my mind the last day and a half. And tonight, we're going to be talking about the perception of beauty. So today I want to share with you guys the perception of beauty. I want to share with you guys my personal experiences with it, how I've changed and how I've grown. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you girls and guys out there can relate to what I am talking about here. So growing up, I wasn't very girly. I always wore jeans. I always felt that I felt comfortable in jeans with a t-shirt and anything could go well with jeans. Anyway, it's practical and I didn't really want to have to wear skirts because, well, I didn't feel girly. I felt that it wasn't me. And for those who were also wearing makeup along with their outfit, I always felt that wearing makeup was just something that you would wear to hide your real self. I always felt that wearing no makeup at all would make you feel more beautiful, that it makes me comfortable in my own skin. But then my perspective changed a little bit. Well, okay, I take that back. My perspective changed a lot um, when I became a beauty consultant a year and a half ago. So again, I always thought that wearing makeup was like wearing a mask, like I was hiding my true self from the person that I already was. Well, I come to find out that makeup doesn't have to be that way. And makeup is a form of art. It's how you choose to express yourself, and you can express yourself in many ways. For example, if I wanted to uh, have a look that looks very flattering for complimenting my dark brown eyes, I can do that. If I want to sculpt my face to where it looks slimmer or if I want to have my nose appear taller because it is flat, there are a couple of techniques that I can use to enhance those features. So come to realize that makeup is not a mask. It is a way to express yourself for who you are and it's enhancing the features that you already have. And now if you look at me, I love to wear makeup. I love wearing dresses because they just make me feel so good and they make me feel confident. And I've become a lot more confident and happier than I was when I was much younger. So I'm really thankful that I was able to have the experience of being able to take a look at makeup and how I look, how I dress into a whole different perspective. So when it comes to talking about beauty, everybody judges. It's just a known fact that everybody judges from the positives to the negative, everyone judges. In general, we have the tendency to judge whether it's something that's good or something that's bad. We see it on social media, like if we log on to Facebook, Twitter, or on YouTube. We can be judged by others who influence our lives, such as our family, our friends, a loved one, co-workers, etc. And lastly, we have the tendency to judge ourselves by comparing ourselves to our favorite celebrities that we see in our favorite TV shows or movies, or even the models that you see in fashion and beauty magazines. So some of you guys might agree to how I thought of beauty was in the very beginning, that you would rather see beauty with no makeup, you're all natural, and you see as makeup as a mask to hide. That's fair enough. But you guys are missing out on something that's really important. Um, beauty is actually much more than makeup. It's much more than wearing your favorite dress or wearing high heels. It's something that is skin deep. Beauty is not on the outside, but it's also on the inside. Beauty is skin deep. I know you guys have heard this phrase before, but it's true. I believe that somebody can be pretty and somebody can be beautiful. You can be pretty, by wearing a nice dress or wearing some heels, putting on some makeup. Pretty is something that's temporary. It doesn't last very long. Like for example, if you're wearing makeup, you can always wash it off. But for someone to be beautiful, this person would see the best out of every situation, see the best 
in every person. They don't place judgments onto others. Now with me being a beauty consultant, I do agree that makeup does enhance my features. Like when I want to play with some colors, I can choose some colors that would complement my eyes. Or if I want to enhance my nose to have it appear taller or make my face appear slimmer, then makeup can enhance my features to a certain extent. Not to say that I'm perfect, I'm actually not perfect. I have my own flaws. We all have our own flaws and those flaws come together to create the person that we are. Like say for example, I have small hands, I have a flat nose, and I don't know if you guys can see uh, with this camera, but if you guys can tell there's a bit of discoloration on my arms, that's because ever since I was little I have been dealing with mild to severe signs of eczema. So I'm not to say that I am perfect or anything and do I hide from my imperfections? No. Let's talk about the things that we are blessed with. So we have been blessed to have two eyes, ears, mouth, we have our hands, we have our bodies. I'm very thankful for the things that God has given me. I'm also thankful for being able to have clothes. Now clothes serve a function and that is to keep our bodies warm but we also have a function with clothes as to how we express ourselves. We can have a nice shirt that has a cute little pattern and some fun things. We can have a really nice dress that has a beautiful floral pattern depending on the time of the year or you can even enhance the look of your legs by wearing some really cute shoes or really cute heels. Really guys there's nothing wrong with making yourself feel better with the things that you love. We are pretty much our own canvases. We can express who we are through forms of makeup, hairstyle, and clothing. But most of all, it's important that you guys are having fun with the person who you are. You know yourself better than anyone else. If you see someone who is doing the exact same thing, wearing their favorite clothing, their favorite jewelry, things like that, they're not bothering you. So why should you bother bothering with them? When you're judging someone, um, how does it make you feel? How do you view yourself as a person? It's really important to put you guys in the other person's shoes and think, how would you feel if someone came up to you and said, haha, you're stupid, you're ugly, or something like that? I mean, doesn't that make you feel sad and somewhat upset that somebody put you down like that? When you judge badly of other people, here's what you don't realize. You don't know the person, you don't know their life, you don't know their background. So what makes you think that you can go ahead and stop with that person's confidence? Do you think that this beautiful person would really want to respond to your negativity and become an ugly person? If putting people down is what makes you happy, then there's not really much that I can really do or say that is going to help change the situation. I mean, after all, it is your life, it's your thoughts, it's your feelings. But I do want to give yourself a little bit of a heads up though. If you can't learn to respect others, you're not going to be respected yourself in return. When you have bitterness and some grudges against someone or something, it's going to be really hard for you to bounce back from it. I mean, nothing good comes from negative thoughts. A negative and the negative in science could mean a positive, but in actuality, when it comes to real life situations such as dealing with your friends and your family, a negative and a negative is still going to bring more negativity. When it comes to coping and dealing with negativity, like say for example if I go onto Facebook and I see a negative comment on my page or on my wall, I could do one of two things. I can choose to ignore it or I can just choose the delete option and just click delete. If you click on delete and the comment is gone, it's like out of sight and out of mind. Nothing good comes from negative thoughts or by choosing to be negative. Be an inspiration to somebody. Everyone can either choose to be beautiful or ugly really by the choices and the actions that you take. Life is really how you make it, you guys. If you choose to live your life as a negative person, you may not be living your life to its full potential. However, if you live your life in a more positive way, you'll live longer, you'll live healthier, you'll be happier, and life will be wonderful. So which would you rather choose? Would you rather live your life in a more positive way or would you rather live negative? I choose my life to be more positive so that I can live longer, I can laugh more often, I can meet new people and inspire them and you guys to become the best person that you really can be. 
Life is really how you choose for it to be. Happiness is really up to you. Bottom line, you guys, you are all beautiful in any way, shape, or form. You are beautiful. Embrace who you are because, well, there's only one of you. Just continue your life being you because if you can't learn to love yourself, who will? Give yourselves a really big hug and don't forget to smile. I love you guys. Dream big, dream bold, dream beautiful. Stay beautiful, everyone. Good night.